Oh yeah! Hey guys, it's Marche here. This is day two of the Tamworth Adventure. And I'm gonna show you around. Ready? Check it out! Yeah guys, so I'm going to take you on a tour. <laughs> but first, this is what happened this morning when I woke up. Good morning, it's day two. Had was up till three o'clock in the morning, uh, editing vlog number one, <laughs> and um, yeah, and somewhere along the line, with this burn on my lip, I busted it open, and yeah, <laughs> hit myself in, the, in my sleep, I think. But woke up just about six thirty, and yeah. I could use some more sleep, I think. But, uh, I'll find some sleep somewhere. Anyway, how are you guys going? Well, I might show you around a bit and see what's going on at the cricket house. Yeah, it's got sound if you want. <laughs> uh, yes, the morning ritual. <laughs> Bacon and eggs. Oh, yes, yeah, Fred's cooking it. Here's the man with the announcements every morning. <laughs> and here's the man behind it all this year. Doing the stage and the canteen. Make sure you guys come down here, check it out. Hey, what's our, what time are you open? We're open from 6 a.m. <laughs> 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 That's if you get out of bed, isn't it? <laughs> you are, I'm point. Bed, right? <laughs> and open till late. Too late. Very late. Every day of the festival. Yeah, guys, so it's not hype. This is awesome food here. And they're going to have music, including myself playing all through the festival so come down listen to some music you don't have to be a camper to come down here so come down listen to some music grab a great meal it's just gonna be one of those things definitely check this place out and I'll be here so come on down and say hey that's for sure now that I'm more awake and alert I'm going to take you on a tour. I'm not going to worry about microphones or the earpiece and that. I'm going to just see what the camera does. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to do some voiceovers or I'll put some text on the screen if it doesn't quite come out. So, I'm just going to walk you around the place and talk and show you the things. So, time to get the backpack on. It's really warm here. So, when you come into Tamworth, make sure you bring plenty of water. Although the nights get a little bit cool. So, you ready to see what the go is with Tamworth 2020? It's only the countdown. And, you know, there's still a lot of people to come yet. But, I'm going to show you what you can expect when you come to Tamworth. Just quickly, just a little bit, because I'm going to be doing that throughout the whole festival. So, here we go. Okay. So we are at the top of the Cricket House. That's Bridge Street you can see in the distance. I thought I'd start up here. There's a stage down there. We got Andy working on a couple songs. See, not only is he running the canteen with the lovely Rhiannon, but he's also warming up to perform. Here we are in the, the canteen. Oh, there, let me just lighten that up so everyone can see you. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Here's Rhiannon. What do you want to tell everybody about the canteen? <laughs> Are we going to see you perform? Maybe. Okay. Alright, so let's go have a look around and I'll show you the campgrounds. 
Just gotta reset that. So that's the canine. There's my campsite. Here's the stage. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to cut it. Well, I might have a couple cuts, but I just want to give you an actual proper tour. So, see, there's that. Then you have another area down here. It goes way, way down, way down over there. Still got the netball courts and the baseball field all the way down that end. So you got toilets. Uh, I don't think I've got my camera very balanced well. So if you hear a little, it's just the uh, <laughs> Mr. Motors. So let's have a look. So they got some showers down here. I don't know if you can see properly. So yeah, you got a little shower area here. You got rubbish bin. I know it's not the, the glamour tour at the moment. So I'm just showing you the amenities. So you can get a good look. And you come up here. Got the men on the right, the girls on the left. Come out on the balcony so you can see a bit more. Ooh. So there's plenty of toilets, plenty of rubbish bins. There's the netball courts there. Over there is netball courts. And then further down, there is plenty of room to camp. It's a little quiet because a lot of people think that with all the fires and all the trouble that's been happening and you know the lack of rain that the festival's not on and there's been a lot of rumors saying that the festival's not on but that is not true that is just not true so there's no reason come on down it's going to be a great festival <laughs> Okay, so you ready to go for a walk? We're gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna show you how close this is to town. So, I'm going to start from my van, from my campsite at the stage. So if you're anywhere in town, there's no excuse. Yeah, so if you're anywhere in town, there's no excuse to come down here. And I'm gonna show you just how close to town we are. So, like I said, you got the canteen there. And we'll do this in real time, I think. I don't know, I might just give it a little fast forward. I don't know, probably not. I really want to do this in real time, so I want you to bear with me and I'll talk on along the way. They got, they've, they've added some cricket nets. They weren't here last time I was here. At least I don't remember they were. Yeah. So there's plenty of places to camp. And it's just yeah. So don't don't let all the rumors and that keep you at bay. Come on down. And if you're in town and you want some live music, you're gonna have some unreal people performing on the stage. Some great talent and also I'm going to be going around town listening to the buskers and that and offering them spots on stage if they want to come down. So, yeah, if you want to play, and we still got plenty of spots at the moment, so come on down and see me. And this video will show you how to get to me to come down and see me. You can drive. 
So if you look over there, that's where you come in. What you can see over here, that's the side, of, that's the bridge. You come down, cross the bridge if you're driving and it's the first right. Or you can come the way I am if you're walking. But come on down and just have a, have a look. Say hi, organize a spot, and then come down and play for the campers. But it's not just for the campers either. So if you want to come down and watch some great entertainment, it's not hard, see? If, if you're not camping, you come across the bridge, come across the bridge there, turn right, you come in here, come in here, and you got a car park there, plenty of places to park, and then you just have to, see? Turn around, oh, there's the cricket house there, and the stage. So you can just come on down, Believe it or not, we're almost in town already. So, you've got this great big car park, so you can come down and listen to your favorite artists if they're playing on the stage. Got a real good lineup so far. So I'm not gonna mention the names at the moment because I do not wanna forget someone and then they go, oh, but you didn't mention my name. So I'm sure everybody that's got their spot, has got a post up on their Facebook saying, oh, I'm gonna be playing at Riverside. But yeah, like I said, it's not about me, I wanna show you how close Riverside is to town. Cause it's really, really close. It's not hard to get to. And it's in walking distance. So there's no Oh, it's too far, because it's not too far. See, you come across, there's the bridge. The main bridge. We can see we're already here, we're almost in town. Come up the stairs. Do, 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 do. And down there, hang on, let me just see if I can darken this up a little, because it is a little bit bright. But yeah, down there, you go up the hill and you get like the family hotel and all that down there. Turn left at the lights, you go down and you get west and the long yard and all that down there. <coughs> but see, we're already on the bridge, about to go into town. Is that close? And it's a nice walk. Yeah. You know, gonna be warm today it's gonna be like 36 degrees Celsius for those watching in the States but it's a nice little walk and just on the other side of this bridge which I'll show you is the hands of fame park so if you're wondering how dry things are yeah, that's the Peel River at the moment. So, she is very dry. That's the driest I've ever seen her in my 10 years, or 11 years now, coming here. Never seen the Peel River that dry. Sorry about that, bumped the button. The, yeah, it's like they need the water. So I hope it rains to fill it up, but not overflow. <laughs> but see, we're coming across. And if you actually walk under the bridge, and there you get to, if you're camping at Riverside, you go under the bridge in there. And then if you can just see through is um, Toyota Park, they normally call it, Bicentennial Park. And yeah, that's where all the big concerts are. So we just keep walking. And here, I don't know if you can see it yet, but there's the Hands of Fame Park, just down here. And we're technically in town. This is Cable Avenue. See, like, they actually close. You can't go down Cable Avenue and that when they get things running 
So you come over here, and that's West Diggers Club. So if you're looking for the West Diggers, it's there. But yeah, don't, don't, oh, you can go there, obviously, if there's someone you want to see, but if you're going to come this far, just cross the bridge and come see the great talent down at Riverside. And what you can see, the next set of lights is Peel Street. And that's how close it is. So I'm going to get some footage of this that I can overlay, which uh, you've probably already seen. And then I will show you a bit more around town. Yeah, just to show you, that is where the Hands of Fame Park is. And you come down here, and there you have West Diggers. And for those of you who's coming looking for extra spots, I do not know for sure, but next to West Diggers is a little white building here. I don't know, like I said, I, I know that they used to have walk-ups, but I'm not sure the Red Cross house, the Red Cross house, next to the diggers, they used to hold walk-ups, and so I don't know if they're doing that this year, but if um, they do, I will let you guys know. So now we're back, the Hands of Fame Park is over there on the corner, that's the bridge to go over the Riverside Campgrounds. And now we're heading up to Peel Street. So this part, I'm sure I will fast forward. And we're back. And this is the infamous Peel Street for those of you that haven't been here before. So we're gonna have a little walk around. I'm not gonna get to everything. But I will eventually. But yeah, just this time we're just gonna have a bit of a look around at specific spots. So I will jump ahead. There's a reason why I'm standing out of Cold Rock ice cream place. So definitely check this out. Tamworth Country Music Festival of Trading Hours. Friday the 17th to Sunday the 26th, 11 a.m. till late every day. So if you need some ice cream, make sure you come here. There's a reason why, because I know the owners. They're really cool and they're very talented and hopefully we might be able to see them play somewhere along the lines. But yeah, if you want some ice cream, make sure you grab some from there. I don't know how this is coming out, because like I said, I'm not using the microphone. I'm not using my earpiece. So, so it's like, I hope this is all coming out right. I'm just taking you around, just easier this way. And they're at Hogs Brad. Now I don't know what they're doing this year, but they usually have a stage here, somewhere out here, full of talented people. That's not a plug for Hogs Breath in that sense, but they are pretty good. I've played there a few times. So. Turn around. So yeah, Hog's Breath, if you want me to play, give me a call. <laughs> okay. So this is kind of the end of the official Peel Street thing where you get buskers and that. So Burke Street and Peel. This roundabout right here. And it still looks really bright, so sorry about that. Try not to have too many cuts. So, what have you got down here? What you I'll have to adjust it when I get back in the shade. So there you have the Albert Strait down here. And then you got the courthouse. So it looks like they're doing a bit of renovation still. And so the, those places usually go jumping. So you just go down there. But we are going to cross the road over here and we're going to walk back up Peel Street and I'm going to take you all the way along Peel Street. So let's just have some fun. Okay so you ready? Behind me we got the Albert and the courthouse just to give you some bearings. 
and we're going to walk down Peel Street and I'm going to try not to cut if I can help it and I'm going to show you the whole length of Peel Street. Hopefully it won't take too long where I think it's dragging a bit, I'll fast forward it but let's take a walk. So to give you some bearings there's Hog's Breath over there. Now along this stretch here for those pen people that are scrimping on pennies there's usually I don't know no it's not there but usually just somewhere around here there's usually a couple of Asian girls that sell cold soft drinks and waters for two dollars so when the festival's on make sure you come down to this side on the Hogsbreath side of Bridge Street if you want some cheap drinks they're, they're, they've been here every year that I've been coming so hopefully they won't let me down and not turn up this year but usually they've got little eskies out the fr front of one of the shops and they're selling cokes and oh, soft drinks and water for two dollars each so just walk a little bit for five minutes and save yourself a couple a buck or two because some of the shops tend to get a little bit pricey and here we are back at bridge street the riverside campgrounds is down that way sorry for the blown out picture but we're in the sun at the moment up there is the impi the Imperial Hotel, so that's where that is if you need to know. Okay, so we've just crossed Bridge Street, and across the road right there is the Tudor Hotel. So if you're looking at any artists that are playing at the Tudor, that's where you go to. Okay, and remember to check out the shopping centers they usually have some acts on during the day. Got the atrium across the road there, which is next to Lowe's, just to give you a landmark. Oh, we got one busker setting up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of them down the street. For sure, Mick the Poet, how you going? Mick the Poet. Welcome. No worries. Good stuff. First busker I've seen so far. No worries. <laughs> Good poetry up this end. Cheers. No worries. Good man. Okay, so I've just blowing out of so stuff the street and the sunlight I want you to see where I'm actually walking okay so here is center point in Tamworth if you want one of the malls is not that's where they have acts playing as well during the day like I said all the, the main shopping centers are oh, the plazas usually have entertainment on usually have a small stage inside and that's a double check. They usually have their own listings too, so you can see that. This is Fitzroy Street. And this is where the main happenings of Tamworth is. So right here, we have the fan zone stage. So if you're looking for fan zone, this is where it's gonna be. And up just behind it, you have the town hall. So if you're looking for anybody at the town hall, they're just up there to the left. I ain't gonna leave Peel Street at the moment just so we can keep the bearings. Swing back down around here. Opposite of Fan Zone, you go down, there's Bicentennial Park. That's where the main entrance is most people go into. And you have the Post Office Hotel. I'm playing there, by the way. I can't remember the day offhand right now. <laughs> I have to look. So keep checking the social medias because I'm playing there so come down and say hi when I am playing there or oh, come down to Riverside and see me as well but yeah that's the post office hotel to the right Bicentennial Park and this is the fan zone spot and this is also the post office where you will get this is where they usually have the Toyota hats so if you want one of those straw hats I'm just trying to balance it again so you can see it. So if you're looking to get a straw hat with the Toyota thing on it, the official hat, then this is where you get it from usually. Second busker I've seen so far. They're starting to come out for the... They're starting to make their way out for the countdown. 
Okay, now across the road, there's Tamworth Regional Council building. So that's where the festival headquarters is. I'm sure I'll show you the inside of that at some point. So that's where that is. Swinging around, we're almost at the end of Peel Street, or well, the festival side of Peel Street anyway. Tamworth Square, Charter Hall, another plaza where you got coals in that. <laughs> and this is the end of the festival Peel Street. So this area is always open as well. They've got the roads blocked off here down to Bridge Street. So last year they opened up the Hogsbreath side. Don't know if they're doing that again this year. But yeah. So this is is Peel Street for you. Okay, so we are looking back down at Peel. Fitzroy Street's down there, where Fan Zone and all that is. We're at the end. Like I said, here's the Tamworth Square Charter Hall. This is where you get cold and that. So I'm going to take you around this way. And we're going to go back down to Centennial Park. Now this is the other way to get to Centennial Park, or Bicentennial Park, sorry, or Tamworth Toyota Park as they call it. So a lot of people try and get parked here, and there's a parking lot down here, which you'll see soon. Hey, how you going? Yeah, good, I'll catch up with you after. Ray McCoy, everybody. One of the radio DJs of Tamworth. Awesome bloke. You would have seen him in my video clip, Nothing But A Good Time. He just totally rocks out. He's so supportive of um, artists, you know, big artists and just beginners. He is an awesome dude. So check out his station, which I'm sure I will, I just don't want to say the wrong station. So I'll write it up underneath the screen here. Um, but yeah, <laughs> oh, I, I, it's a station that I don't get um, very often. Well, you can't get it where I live. And I think, I'm not sure if they got it online yet. We'll have to check that out. So, but here we are back at Cable Avenue. Yes, so as you can see, people park down there. There's a park over here with a whole bunch of stuff. Let's just cross the road. Let's get this thing. Ooh, run across. Ah, not get hit by cars. Do, 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 do. So if you're gonna come down this end, you gotta remember this road here, right, is the same as Peel Street. They lock, well, you can come down halfway, but from Fitzroy Street, just before Fitzroy Street onwards, they block it off down to Bridge Street. So as you can see, you got stuff down there, but we're going, we want Toyota Park. But it's, it's as you can see, I'm walking all of Tamworth and it's not really been that long. And it's not that much of a walk. So, trying to get a good picture to give you an idea okay see where it says the target sign whoops there that's Fitzroy Street where that car red car is turning that's Fitzroy Street to give you an idea so you'd come down from fan zone out there and then you have the park Fancy. <laughs> yeah, it was this, it was this toilet block just there was just an old, old style toilet block. So they tore it down and built a new one. As you can see, come down from Fan Zone, come out there, come along here, and there is Byzantennial Park. Toyota Park, big main stage. 
But while we're here, I want to do the the bus walk. What is that? Is it the bus walk? Yeah. The ones with the heads <laughs> of famous people. Yeah. So sorry about the cut, but I wanted that for B roll. So now I gotta darken it back up. Oh, do wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> So a lot of this is sectioned off kind of thing, they've got barriers up and that. Now, if you remember when I said crossing the bridge, you can get to Bicentennial Park by going under the bridge instead of going up and over. Well, you come out over here, that, that pathway leads you up here to this bridge that'll take you over the river, and you come out and you just walk down and you're there, yahoo! Still getting used to this camera, guys, so bear with me. Uh, here's Frank Icefield. Right, I'm just gonna see like. I'm not gonna worry about the blown out background. I want to just hit the button. So we got that. There, let's swing over here. We have Barry Thornton. We got Stan Costa. Coming down. Got Jimmy Little. Reg Lindsay. On Monday night. Remember, uh, Monday, sorry, is the Reg Lindsay tribute. I'll be playing there. And so will uh, Lewis Burt. We got Chad Morgan. Gordon Pearson, Parsons, sorry. Shirley Toms. And Tex Morton. So you got a couple of other statues around that we're gonna keep going. As we walk out here, you might notice a little bit of work going on here. So to give you an idea, You have fan zone up there. This is the family zone stage. Uh, oh, I don't know. I've got one in there. That's pretty. so. This is the other council stage. So if you want to find that, you just come down Victoria. This is the main air section that they try and do um, with the festival on the street. So you got all that, and you're going to have um, stalls and all that along here. And all along here, but you got a stage here, and this is this part is blocked off, like I was saying before, because this is where they usually have the rides, like the Ferris wheel and all that sort of stuff. But you'll see that come festival time, and I get footage of that. So, I'm gonna fast forward as we walk, and I'll see you on the corner. And we're back. Yes. Back on the corner of Bridge Street and Cable Avenue. Just to give you your bearings if you've lost them. Diggers Club's down there, Hands of Fame Park right there. And that's the bridge, but we want to cross here. Just that much easier. And just to give you your bearings, as we walk back over the bridge, Okay, so like I was saying, you come over the bridge, you can go down these steps here, up those steps there. If you're driving, you know, just to give you that, come over the bridge, and at the BP, turn right, it's your first right. It's darkening a little bit more. And 
If you're coming from out by the Long Yard and West Diggers and all that, you turn right at the lights in the main street and come up and turn left in there and this is where you come into the car park and you can see that little white speck down there which is it only looks so tiny because it's on camera you can see it clear as the bell in real life that is the stage and that's how simple it is so that's the tour of Tamworth I'll go up that way another time and we'll show you around so come down the stairs and if you're at Riverside Campgrounds and you want to get to the Bicentennial Park as I said you come over here instead of going up these stairs you go under there and that takes you to the pathway which takes you to that back way around to Bicentennial Park so I hope that um, you've enjoyed this tour my voice is a little dry and croaky I hope I'm in I hope I'm in picture frame because like I said I haven't got the little flap out so I can't see what I'm actually filming when it's facing me. But anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Remember to hit like and subscribe, notification bell. I've got a whole bunch of videos coming, so you know what to do. And I have to thank Conceptual Creative. They've been doing awesome to help me be here. And so give them some love, check them out, conceptualcreative.com.au And you can check out what they do for me at marchemusic.com.au And yeah, I'm going to go have a bit of a rest And I'm sure there'll be more after this Actually, I'm going to wrap up the video here And I'm going to add, well, I might do a second video after this But I think that was long enough So yeah until next time, this is Marche reporting at Amwer 2020. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good one. Spread the love. Till next time, see ya!